So there are really two kinds of vascular diseases that we as vascular surgeons commonly deal with. That is, we might deal with venous problems. Well, what kind of things do you get with venous problems? You may get swelling of your legs. You may get varicose veins. You can get leg ulcers, usually between the ankles and the knees. And that's certainly one area that we deal with. The other area that we deal with are diseases of the arteries themselves. Usually we're talking about blockages in arteries, and most commonly we're talking about arteriosclerosis as the reason for these arteries being blocked. And so that causes a restriction of the blood flow to the legs and the feet, and that can result in other problems that we deal with. Now, by and large, with the venous problems, there's really not much that is serious or can cause a life or limb threatening situation. Now, what we are more concerned with are blockages in the arteries. The symptoms you can get fall into two categories with blockages in the arteries going to the, le to the legs themselves. One is what we call limb-threatening symptoms. That is, things that would suggest to us that the blood flow is so bad that if we do not intervene to restore or improve the blood flow, we could actually lose the leg to gangrene and require an amputation. Those symptoms are twofold. Number one, rest pain. Rest pain meaning that the blood flow to the lower leg is so bad that the tissues are literally beginning to die and the nerves hurt. It's most commonly seen at night when the legs are elevated because you lose gravity, which is a help to get blood to the feet. And so patients will come in saying, uh, my toes, and usually it's the toes, the farthest point from the heart, will hurt, they'll be cold, and they'll be painful. The other set of symptoms are seeing tissues actually begin to deteriorate. That is sores or ulcers in the feet that are not healing or worsening because of a lack of blood flow. And so if you have a sore or an ulcer on your feet or in your feet, because there's a lack of blood flow, you have to restore the blood flow in order to avoid loss of the limb. Now the other set of symptoms are what we call claudication. Claudication is a fancy term for it hurts when I walk. Now there's a lot of things that cause pain when you walk. So it is up to a vascular surgeon to differentiate one source for, for another. Now the characteristic of claudication, that is pain from a blood flow problem when you walk, is that when you first begin to walk or when you stand, you don't get any pain. It's only after you've begun to walk a ways where the muscles have used up the oxygen and are creating what we call lactic acid because they can't complete the metabolic process that they begin to hurt. If you've got blockages further up in the abdominal or, or pelvic area, you may also get pain in your thighs or even in your buttocks with walking. So those are the predominant symptoms if you have blockages in your arteries to your lower extremities.